that, that's funny. I was thinking that maybe you could you could choose someone instead of mm. someone raising their hand. Mm. I thought for a long time that when this moment will come, I will have a great report for you. Mm. Um today I see I I see and I feel a lot of embarrassment mm -hmm. because of a huge amount of arrogance. I th thought I knew something. I thought I knew things. And And I was I was behaving very uh, arrog arrog arrogant in an arrogant arrogant way, and and now I I I see that I don't know anything. And how does that feel? How does it feel when you say these words, I don't know anything right now? How does it feel for it, you? It feels like a start. Yes. Yes. And, and I, I, I see, uh, I witness all these uh, people um, having this uh, very uh, nice Uh, reports to you and and every time this happens is is joyful for me as well like every time some someone is there and 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 come you said something you say i said how does it feel to say or admit i know nothing and you say it is a start what will be the finish of it that you will know something stop for a moment slow down You say it is a start. I feel what you say. It's good. It is a start, like something fresh, something sincere, at least now. Okay? So, what will be the end of it? It is a start that I don't know anything, I admit I don't know anything. So, keep on knowing nothing. Keep on not wanting to find something, because the wanting to find something, the mind feels if I learn enough, I will learn my way into freedom, maybe. That's one of the, the, the illusions. If I learn enough and study enough, and people who have studied tremendously, pundits of knowledge, have studied tremendously, sometimes find their knowledge gets in the way now. I've studied all these things, and something is me knows it's nothing. But I can't give it up, because I've acquired so much of this nothing. And I have to use it for something. You put the value still on it or something. So you say it is a start, then where will be the end? Where will it be the end? Will it be to know something now? I say no. Just keep on going, knowing nothing. So if you put all of this, including your desires, okay, now I know nothing. Now let's out, let me see if I can start know the proper something. And I said, No, let's go for a moment and see. Keep knowing nothing. Keep knowing nothing now. And examine the environment of your own self now. And, and this is where I feel um, now a little bit uh, desperate mm -hmm. because it's as if I, I, I am so used to be only doing mm -hmm. or being only understanding. Mm -hmm. I realize that and even even though it is said that it's not that way i I mm. can't seem to uh, be myself ah. this is this is uh, important also because for a long time we move from one thing to another thing. We are like Tarzan in a jungle, he swings on one vine, he takes next one, then he has to let go the next one, isn't it? Otherwise, he's dangling between two things. So he swings on one on one piece of knowledge. Then you get to another one. Then you must let the whole one. Then you must move on. 
So now you've come to something, no knowledge, then. no nothing now, and then you feel you're left on your own for a moment. And everyone who comes to the stage, some anxiety is there, because now I don't know what to do. I feel completely lost. So yeah, you stay like this for a moment. Experience this feeling of feeling lost, but don't wallow in it. There's something else that's there that's actually not lost. It's not lost. It has no direction. You see? But in front of it, the mind who's usually up to some activity is feeling, oh, what do I do now? You're taking all my tools. Hmm? You're taking all my maps, all my jobs. Now, then what can I do? How can I live like this? And this is still the chatter is still going on. And you feel a bit lost. You don't know how I don't know how to do nothing. Okay? But this is still just the noise. You see? And you are aware of this noise. Don't identify with this noise, then you see. What does it mean, don't identify? Meaning that you feel this noise from the mind, some kind of an identity that you have been wearing for a while feels maybe a bit lost. I'm not, I'm not accustomed to, to, to not having something to do. So there is a bit of anxiety, some discomfort. But you are aware of this discomfort, this feeling. So just watch it without any passion. Just let it be there for a moment. Because what we all do is we try to run to the next action. You see, you try to go to the next thing, because you can't bear your own silence. As yet, we have not come to silence. We have only come to the end of activity for a moment. I, I can't know what is to be myself. Say? I cannot know what is to be myself. Yes, yes, yes. It is not this type of knowing. It's not the classical knowing, which is one thing knowing another thing. It's not that type of knowing. You you tell me not to do anything about it, not to go there. Yeah. But I feel that as a synonymous synonym of being myself. It just and and what I actually feel is this strong pull out of myself. Yes. Okay. This being yourself when I speak it feels very uncomfortable in your listening. Because this being yourself, you say, but I don't know, it may be not the right words you say, I don't know how to be myself. It actually pulls me out of myself. But how can it pull you out of yourself? When I say be yourself, I mean remain. Then maybe you say, but I don't know what self there is to remain. Are you saying like that? Something like that, yes. Uh, and if I say be nothing, also it still creates something. And if I say be, be it's just, if you say be nothing, it's, it creates a peacefulness. If you say be, it creates it creates a stress. A stress. If I say be nothing, it creates a peacefulness. If I say be, it creates a stress. So, to be is more stress than to be nothing. Yes, because when you, you say be, yeah. it feels like I have to do something. Ah. Okay. Okay. Be nothing. <laughs> because be nothing is be for me. You see. Because be something we are used to. Be nothing is just a, in a in its honest, simple term means remain as you are. Be. But if you have the sort of mind that goes, mm, 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 and goes well, that's kind of, then you must be aware of that. And I say beware of that because sometimes mind, in this part of the inquiry, starts to be super accurate. Super accurate. So to be or to be nothing. <laughs> I see. Well, actually, same thing. No, but it's not the same thing. You see, it can be like that. <laughs> you see? So uh, I want to free you from this so that the, this kind of mentality doesn't tighten you into another posture, like to be fixed into be nothing. 
because actually where you're coming into is a great flexibility where words can be anything now because you move beyond words this be nothing is not a state induced by words only or supported by words it's wordless so it's beyond words you see then when you go beyond words you will not be afraid of words who gets this good when you are beyond the words then you will not be intimidated by word you go beyond the concepts and everything become concept so even if i say brahman it will just now be a concept if i say uh, uh, pure consciousness you hear it just now it's okay yes yes because you have resolved yourself now you don't need the words to tell you what you are now you follow you will still understand what they mean but you won't have a complex about them now if i say the being or the presence or the i am you will still know it's the same thing at a certain point you know all the words are the same thing it's all the same thing but while you have a distinguishing mind which is useful up to a certain point then it will seem to matter did you mean this or that because okay a bit off center here or whatever but gradually as it moves again into your naturalness your infinite being you see don't be twisted by the words they're just just a sense they're just a pointing finger the rest grace completes it reveals yourself your alreadiness is here Take me in